Being a show about a boy with the godlike power of creation at his fingertips, it makes sense that Chalk Zone has opened itself up to an endless stream of fan theories and speculation. Oh, just one little cookie couldn't hide. With great power comes great responsibility, and the doors have been opened for so many of those fan theories to be rather dark. Is Chalk Zone far more sinister and creepy than we originally thought? Woody, you made it! I'm Brad with Wicked Binge, and today we're taking a look at some of the darkest theories about Chalk Zone. Let's get started. Show must go on. The Mystery of the Red Chalk Although the Red Chalk appeared only twice in the entire show, its appearance and aggressive personality have left quite a few of us baffled as to how it originated, and most importantly, why it has so much dark energy just oozing from it. For so long, the red chalk was surrounded in mystery with hardly anyone able to determine its meaning. That was, of course, until Blue Dramon from DeviantArt.com came up with an interesting theory which sheds some light on just why the red chalk is as dark and sinister as it is. He claims that the Red Chalk is actually made up of the remains of previous children creators who were killed by none other than Cyclops, the guardian of the magic chalk mines. Everything okay over here in this part of Chalk Zone? Yikes, that's really dark. The entire theory hinges on several mysterious yet interesting circumstances, which happen mainly at the beginning of the series. The first of which has to do with Cyclops not wanting Rudy to take the magic chalk. Danger, keep out, be gone, turn back, take off, ski daddle. Throughout the episode, Cyclops explained that, like Rudy, there used to be children creators who roamed Chalk Zone, drawing some out of hand and borderline dangerous creations over which they had no apparent control. Stop. Because of their carelessness and lack of consideration for Chalk Zone, it's likely that Cyclops and the other zoners detested the children creators. They probably also feared that the children, and their recklessness, might have created something which would have threatened the very existence of their universe. What is it? It is the sun. Despite the fact that the zoners seen in the show may be friendly, that might not be the case for all of them. For all we know, the zoners, in either a fit of rage or in an effort to protect their home, might have killed off all the children creators. Then, to dispose of the bodies, they pulverize and mix the bodies of the children together, eventually shaping the resulting mixture into a chalk. The red color is actually the color of the children's blood, which stained the chalk. When you look at it, this theory does account for why the red chalk is so angry. It behaves like an immature kid. It's destructive and creates anything that it wants to, without ever considering the repercussions, all of which are characteristics that we can imagine from any child. Furthermore, based on this theory that the children were all killed by the zoners, it also explains why the chalk is so resentful. It's because it's made up of the bodies of bitter, vengeful, and hateful children who feel that they were wronged. Consequently, the Red Chalk feels the same way about the outside world and will stop at nothing to get its revenge. Ew, yuck. Rudy draws to cope with a traumatic past. On the surface, it may seem as though Rudy is a regular kid artist who just happens to enjoy drawing different things with his magic chalk. All right. But what if there was a reason behind Rudy's obsession with drawing? Something dark and sinister, which had such an impact on him that he had no choice but to turn to drawing as a way to maintain his sanity, to cope with his life. When Biclops finds out about this, he'll hit the ceiling. Based on a theory posted on HiddenSideOfTheStory.tumblr, some believe that Rudy is deeply hurting from trauma caused both by bullying as well as by the emotional pain of being neglected by his parents. Well, right now there are people dreaming of me! As a result, he takes to drawing, something which allows him to escape to an unreal, fictitious, psychologically constructed world where he can be at peace. The time is now! The notion that he's being neglected by his parents is actually one which stems from the fact that he draws so much. Some feel that if his parents were more involved in his life, he wouldn't be so heavily invested in it. Instead, he would probably be spending time with his family and friends. Now, Rudy! Not that art in itself is proof of this, but the idea of him entering a whole new world is a bit of a mental red flag. Consequently, from this school of thought, the idea that he's being neglected by his parents was born. As a result of this neglect, apart from being left to his own devices, Rudy also feels hurt. Tots will be tots. It's no big deal. This is only part of the reason why he's so fixated on drawing. It's because doing so allows him to forget the world and immerse himself in a place where he calls the shots. 
The other major reason behind his need to draw is that Rudy experienced serious bullying during his school life, something which psychologically scarred him, thereby causing him to find an outlet where he can forget those bad times in his life. For my next trick, I will need something to tear to pieces. At school, he only has one main friend, Penny. His other best friend is a drawing, which he made when he was eight years old. Why does Rudy only have one real friend? What about the other characters seen in the show? Well, for starters, one of the characters seen frequently is actually the school bully, Reggie. As you'll know, Reggie isn't actually chummy with Rudy. What's more, there's Mr. Wilter, a teacher who would probably crucify Rudy if he found that about Chalk Zone. You're getting the picture. Rudy probably feels like an outsider at school. He barely has any friends, and it seems like both students and administration are against him. Where is he? Where is that tent? Therefore, to help himself feel better, he creates this magical universe known as Chalk Zone, where he can create anything that he wishes, including friends who can keep him company. This means that Chalk Zone is nothing more than a byproduct of his imagination, created to help him keep his sanity. Rudy suffers from schizophrenia. Yet another interesting theory by hidden side of the story.tumblr to surface recently. This one actually bears quite a bit of similarity to the previous theory about how Rudy created a fictitious world to help deal with his own personal challenges. However, it does provide a different spin on things, namely that Rudy may actually be suffering from schizophrenia and not psychological trauma from bullying and neglect. Granted, schizophrenia is not something that should be taken lightly, especially considering that this is a children's show. But still, some serious evidence has come up, which make one at least question whether Rudy might be suffering from it. I'm Rudy and these are my friends! In some of the most severe cases of schizophrenia, some patients end up constructing their own universe outside of the real world. Hello, Chuck Zone! To those people, the real world is sort of replaced by this fictitious made-up universe, as they cannot distinguish between the two, almost as if the lines between reality and fiction were blurred. Come on, let's go! One can't help but think that Rudy might be suffering with some degree of schizophrenia. While it may not be that severe, as he can distinguish between both realms, it doesn't change the fact that it might very well be an involuntary psychologically constructed realm, meant to make his deepest desires become a reality. But how does that explain Penny's presence in this world? Is she a construct as well? Ancient Egypt, here we come! Well, no. Based on this theory, Penny doesn't actually accompany Rudy to Chalk Zone. In actuality, she serves as a trusted friend who takes care of him whenever he's in this other realm, keeping watch over him to ensure that nothing goes wrong. I'd better mark down these balloon farm coordinates to add to our map of Chalk Zone. If this were true, it would cast a rather gloomy cloud over what is a fun and creative show, The God Complex. This is a rather dark and spooky theory about Rudy's future, namely that he will eventually be consumed by the power granted to him by the magic chalk, subsequently using that power to probably wreak havoc in the real world, essentially becoming totally corrupt with the power. Rudy, where have you been? It's pretty much established that Rudy can be viewed as a god in this show, or at least a creator. He has the power to create life in another universe. Although some of his creations don't always turn out to be good, he does bring forth both good and evil into the world. Intentional or not, there's balance. The power to create is a mighty responsibility, and as we know, to whom much is given, much is expected. Given that Rudy is still young, it's likely that the weight of being a creator might be too much of a heavy burden for him to bear. With great power comes great responsibility. Eventually, he began to suffer from major psychological damage from the sheer weight of the responsibility. This is all my fault. This psychological trauma was then worsened by the feeling of rejection and neglect he experiences in the real world. It's no secret that Rudy feels objectively disconnected with reality. Mom! No! There, he's treated as an outcast by his classmates and not looked upon favorably by even his teachers. His solace is Chalk Zone, where he is a god and giver of life. How can he be a god in one universe and a nobody in another? What is he? After some time, the existentialist thoughts which plague his mind drive him off the edge, eventually leading him to a serious emotional and psychological breakdown, all of which are as a direct result of the conflict he feels from being perceived differently between two worlds. Oh boy, oh boy! This show has given me an existential crisis. What do you think? Do you have any theories of your own? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. But most importantly, stay wicked.